So good morning you guys, it's now the 9th of December and I just ended my previous festive vlog because I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So I did actually go into town yesterday with my mum to get a few Christmas bits. I've already done like the main bulk of my Christmas shopping, I just needed to get a few more little bits and bobs. So I did my mum and we both needed wrap and paper as well, so I did pick up a few things. So I thought I would sit somewhere else to do this haul because um, I usually filmed all my Alex Nine drawers but I thought I would sit down here because I haven't filmed here in ages. So I'm going to start off with the two biggest things which is the wrapping paper. So I got these from, I forgot the name of the shop, it wasn't like Poundland or something. Um, does it have the name of the shop on here? No it doesn't but it's a new shop in my town but it's kind of like a pound shop. This is the first one I got, it's just a white background with silver houses and Christmas trees, it's really pretty. Um, and then I went ahead and I got this one, it's just got these little baubles and the baubles have things in there that says jingle bells, stocking, gifts, sparkle and just all that sort of festive stuff. So in that shop I picked up this gift bag. This is for my niece because I've got her a few little bits and bobs this year um, so I thought I would get a gift bag to put it in and it's got a reindeer or a stag, whatever you want to call it. And then we went to an actual pound shop so we went to Poundland and I picked up some polos and some chewing gums for myself which I already opened yesterday um so i picked up some bits for charlie so i got him a pack of these dairy milk chocolate buttons and these are just the giant ones um he really likes these and these are for his stocking and then i also got him a pack of the galaxy minstrels these are one of my favorite chocolates um which is also for his stocking i did pick him up some chocolates um, the other day but I wanted to get a few more. Last thing I got in the pound shop was these Christmas cards because I never get Christmas cards. I always forget there's only going to be like two people that I'm actually giving Christmas cards to anyway but I thought these ones were really nice. You get a pack of 10 and there's three different designs um, and yeah I thought these were really cute. Then the next shop I went to was super drugs so the first thing i got was this charcoal toothpaste this is for charlie's stocking i think the first time i got him this was last year in his stocking and he really really liked it then i picked up a gift set for my mum's friend i was going to give her the bath bombs that i showed in my first festive vlog but then it turns out she doesn't actually have a bath um she has a shower so obviously she can't use bath bombs so i just picked her up this really nice bayless and harden gift set and my mum also picked up one um for my niece to give to my sister as a christmas gift for my niece if that makes sense and i've got two items for myself so the first one is a pack of face wipes because i really needed some more face wipes um and i did buy these ones a couple of months ago and i really like them um it says they're limited edition but i don't know for how long or if they've just bought them back you get 25 in a pack and they're really nice and gentle on your skin so i thought i would pick up some more and then the last thing i got was this hand sanitizer and i love hand sanitizer um i'm actually getting some bath and body works ones for christmas which charlie got me and i'm so 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 excited for them i think i'm more excited about them than i should my friend shauna at college she has this particular one and it smells amazing i think that was everything i got yesterday oh no it's not so i got a uh, gift from my mum basically my mum got some advent calendars for my niece and my nephew surprisingly they didn't have one already usually they have their calendars before december but they didn't have one yet so my mum picked up my niece and my nephews a chocolate one my mum was going to get my niece another one so that she had two we was looking at this disney one which had like bath and body stuff in it we saw this 12 days of christmas one and i was saying to my mum oh i got my sister that last year and she really really liked it and my mum bought this um and she bought the disney one for my niece so i was thinking maybe they were all for my niece and then when we got home my mum was like here you go and i was like oh so she actually got it for me and i didn't even know that so it is a 12 days of christmas one um so i think you're supposed to start it on the first and finish on the 12th um but if i done it that way then i'll basically be opening almost all the doors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start it when we have 12 days left till christmas and then my mum also got my sister a similar calendar but she's got the um candle one and it has 25 days but look how beautiful this is this is such a pretty calendar and they've got pictures yeah on the back you can see all 
the different scents that they have um, and they come in these adorable little bottles. Now I can actually open my body shop calendar which I haven't opened in the past four days so I'm going to have four boxes to open which is going to be exciting. So I think we left off on the 6th so let me take that one out. Oops. So I've also got to take out the 7th which is this big one. The 8th is over here and where's number 9? Oh number 9 is this big one. Oh it's all gonna fall. Ah. Okay this is quite a big one. So here's what it says if you guys want to pause it. I think this is going to be a makeup product. It might be a brush I think because I did see a spoiler so it might be a brush but I'm not sure. I was kind of right it is a makeup product. I got this last year and I haven't actually used it yet but I'm not disappointed about that because I do use eyeliner quite a bit. I hadn't used the one I got last year yet because I already had a few um, and I don't really like to open new makeup products unless I finished what I have first so I'm actually really really happy about this. So here's box number seven. This is what it says on today's box. I wonder what this is. It sounds quite small actually. Wow. <laughs> it's such a big box but you get such a tiny product. Um, so this brush is actually quite heavy. This is a brush. I think maybe it's for like eyeshadow or something. I'm not 100% sure. Lily, please tell me what is this brush for. It does look like an eyeshadow brush or is it like a concealer brush or something. I'm not entirely sure but last year we got a foundation brush let me get it last year we got this foundation brush which i really like so next we have number eight i feel like this might be like another travel size shower gel or something um so here's what it says on this box oh no i was wrong it's a hand cream but which one mango so it's a mango hand cream i absolutely love the body shop hand creams they're so 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 moisturizing um, i'm not a huge fan of the mango scent i don't dislike it but it's definitely not one of my favorite scents um but i'll use this anyway because i love their hand creams and in day number nine which is quite a big box um this is what it says so let's go ahead and open up this one it is quite heavy so i think this might be a full size product and look how cute oops and look how cute that owl is when you finish with all the boxes at the end it makes a picture so i'm really excited to see what the picture is going to be at the end so i'm saving all the boxes is this almond milk and honey yes oh my god i'm so happy about this so last year i got the almond milk and honey body butter in full size and it smelled incredible and i love this scent so much um so this is a oh my god it's a body lotion i didn't even know they done body lotion i'm so happy about this i'm gonna send the picture to charlie and be like look what i got because he loves the scent of this as well so here's an overview of all the products i got and i'm really 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 happy with everything the boxes are looking a little lopsided now so where is box number 10 so box number 10 is this one so i'm actually not going to be opening my calendar tomorrow the next day i will be opening my calendar is on tuesday because i have college tomorrow i don't know why i didn't think of this before but i can actually put all of the products i've got from the body shop in this stocking because this one is just my decoration stocking because i have two of the same so the one that's going to have stuff in it i've sent it to charlie because we're doing stockings for each other so here's an overview of all the goodies that i've got in the calendar so far and i'm really 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 happy with everything I thought I would really talk about some things that are going to be happening this month. So next week I'm planning on meeting up with Lily on it's Saturday we're going to be meeting up. So we're just going to have a really nice girly days out, do some shopping. Also doing a Christmas gift swap and this is going to be our third year doing it. So I'm going to be posting off Lily's stuff maybe this week if I get if I get the chance to wrap everything because I've got all her gifts ready I just need to wrap them. Um, she's sending half of my gifts and then the other half she's going to give to me in person um, and then I think the 
the weekend after i'm going to be going to charlie's house so i'm going to charlie's house on the 21st till the 23rd because this year i don't finish college until the 20th which is a thursday so on the friday in like the afternoon i'll be going to kent for the weekend which i'm really looking forward to because i haven't seen charlie in i think it's been six weeks so we're just going to have a pretty chilled weekend and also exchange christmas gifts and then i'm coming back to my house on the 23rd but in the evening obviously the next day is the 24th which is christmas eve and my sister's friend it's her daughter's birthday so they always go to her house now um and celebrate the little girl's birthday um so then in the evening my sister's going to be picking me up and i'm going to be going to her house with all the gifts i have for them because i'm going to be spending christmas at my sister's um so then the next day is obviously christmas day and i will be vlogging christmas eve and christmas day because i have done that for the past two years um so i think those are the main plans i have for the rest of the month i just thought i would tell you guys because i've got it all planned out now so here's my treat drawer for my hamsters but also for my shop my last festive vlog um i spent a little while organizing this drawer this drawer and this drawer because this is where i have um a lot of the stuff for my pet shop got some more of this mix in um i added it to my website a few weeks ago and a lot of you guys seem to really really love it and i've been getting loads of messages on instagram ask me when it will be back in stock got some food for my dwarf hamsters so this one and this one and then down here are some treats i have for my dwarfs and then these are their treats so they're quite natural and healthy and i do feed them on like the same stuff that i actually sell on my shop we do a updated treat collection soon um but up here is basically what this drawer looks like at the moment and then up here is what this drawer looks like and open up my advent calendar i think i need to open two days because i didn't open it yesterday so here's my lovely calendar um so i think we need number nine and number ten where's number nine i was a bit confused so i just had to check my phone it's actually the 11 i need number 10 and 11 i'm gonna try and get this box out without making everything fall yeah. everything's falling so number 10 and number 11 so we're going to open box number 10 first and i think it's quite ironic what it says on there because i'm planning on wrapping gifts today so this is what box number 10 looks like i'm not sure what it is i feel like it might be a body butter oh oh wow two products a shampoo and a conditioner that is really sweet the fact that they actually give you both and you get them in one box um so i've never actually tried any of the body shop shampoos or conditioners before um but it is the fuji green so now for box number 11 i feel like this might be a makeup product because it's in like skinny packaging and usually whatever's in here is like a makeup product like a brush or something like that okay i wonder what this could be oh yeah it's another makeup product i'm not sure i really like this product because it's an orange lip product it's called orange lollipop um i think it's a lip gloss so i've just taken cashmere out of the cage because she was looking for attention um if you're wondering how she's doing she's doing absolutely fine she's um <clears throat> she's back to um normal now which is good i gave them some extra bedding in their cages so that they're nice and warm she keeps running off so i'm gonna go and put her back into her cage come on let's go back into your cage now yes okay good hamster off you go <laughs> oops <laughs> so i'm gonna make a start on packing orders now which is not gonna be fun because this is gonna take me a good couple of hours to do i have a load of stuff for the hamster box there's two different sizes deluxe and standard so these are all the furnishable stickers which are going to be going in each of the boxes and then i've got like some shoes and stuff here and then i've got these uh present like hideaways so in the deluxe boxes you're either going to get a christmas pudding or one of these i wanted to get all christmas puddings but there wasn't a lot in stock where i got them from and then in this second box down here i've got some more stuff 
Um, so I've got these Christmas trees. These are for the deluxe boxes. Um, I've got a whole load of those. I've got some of these rosewood treats. Um, then I have some candy canes. So I'm going to be including one in each box. And then I've also got some of those shoes down there. Right, so this is how I've got everything set out. I've got the stock down here. I've got some of the boxes here. I've got like a load more outside. They're all piled up. So the standard boxes will be in this box. And then the deluxe box will be in this box. So I've just put the red tissue paper in. So now I need to go and add the items to the box so i do want to take some pictures of the boxes but i can't do that until this afternoon so this is a deluxe box and i'm just going to put all the items in there so we've got a christmas pudding hideaway also got the furnishables um so this is going to be the first time me seeing all the items together because i haven't had a chance to do that yet there's also going to be a pack of these veg chews is there anything couch in here no i think that's it from this box and in this box they will get one of these treats um there's a bag that is open oh this one so they also get a christmas tree um and a pack of these and then they'll also get a candy cane so for each of the boxes, the standard and the deluxe, there's two different variations. There's one item in each of the different size boxes um, that will be different, um, but I'll show you guys in a minute. So I've decided what I'm going to do is pack all of the um, hamster boxes, see who's ordered some stuff from other parts of my website and then I'll just include it in that box. So I think that would be easier instead of checking each and every order as I go along. It would just be quicker if I do it like this. So these are the boxes that I'm going to be using to take pictures of a little bit later on today. I would take the pictures now but I am still waiting on um, extra items and I'm going to do some baking today as well to bake some treats for these boxes. So each box will have an extra two items in there. So there's two standard boxes which is this one and this one but the only difference between them is some of them will have a Christmas tree and some of them will have a snowman but everything else in these boxes are going to be the same and then over here we have the deluxe boxes so it's pretty much the same thing they both have the same items in there the only difference will be some of them will have this really cute Christmas pudding hideaway and others will have this really nice present hideaway so like I said each box will have two more items I thought it would be a little bit better if I actually used this um, paper stuff instead of bubble wrap because then I will be using less plastic I'm just packing this deluxe box but this customer also wants a few extra items so it was a pack of the beetroot paw print cookies as well as a pack of the original paw print cookies and a pack of the fruit and nut treats so I'm going to go ahead and add these into the Christmas box <laughs> guys it's now the next day so i've literally just finished doing my first trip to the post office i've got like maybe nine more to do so i'm going to be really really busy today going back and forth to the post office um so basically i did finish off doing all the boxes last night i didn't finish until quite late and i done like bacon as well um so i was so 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 tired so i didn't get a chance to wrap lily's gifts we're gonna wrap them on sunday and post them on like tuesday or something like that so this is the standard box so inside you have the note, the candy cane, the tissue paper and then the bubble wrap to protect 
everything and then the new items that i've added um are these christmas shoes they're so cute there's two different types um i prefer this one better because i feel like the colors are more christmassy um the other one is like i think blue and yellow with like stars or something and then the other item i added were these treats which i made yesterday so this is the deluxe box so the extra item is a seed tree and they've also got a pack of these treats let's go ahead and open up the calendar for today i think we need day number 12 day number 12 is here and i feel like these are all just gonna drop i don't even know what is going on with these boxes but they look a bit crazy so let's see what's inside is it another shower gel or something um this is oh so this is a body wash so this one smells lovely it kind of smells like baby lotion in a way this is such a pretty set i'm just getting my jacket back on now um so i can do some more post office trips um, and then maybe when I'm like halfway through or something, then I'll do a haul of all the stuff that I got in, that I got from Boots, maybe. I might do that like once I've done all the parcels, but it's going to take me a good couple of hours to do that. Um, I'm not going to be getting anything in, oh, let me pick you up. So I'm not actually planning on getting anything when I'm in town today, so I won't have any hauls from town. Um, I'm going to do that next week, like get some more wrapping paper and like last minute Christmas gifts and stuff. Um, even though I've got all my stuff now, I do need to get um, a gift for my sister's boyfriend and a gift for my friend Sean at college. Those are the last two people I need to get gifts for um, and then just more wrapping paper really and then I will be done so i've just finished doing my second round to the post office and it's like 11 o'clock now but i'm gonna go ahead and open up this boots parcel which i got um earlier i think i've got uh one of charlie's gifts arriving and then another order i have is from the body shop which i made like i think last week but i missed it this week so i think it's going to be re-delivered on saturday and i don't think i'm really waiting on anything else oh and i need to order my niece's uh christmas gift as well like her main oh so this is really pretty all right so i think this one is for either my niece or my mum so it's just the incredible set i think i got this for my sister for her birthday which was in september and then for me i wanted this um, it's a bit random but i wanted this twinings classic tea selection because i really want to try out some more like teas and stuff and i really love this brand um my favorite tea is actually in here um it is the i think it's the english breakfast or is it the everyday tea i'm not sure if it's this one or this one but um it was the tea they had in the hotel that me and charlie went to in january when we went to um watford to the harry potter studio tour we had that tea in the hotel it was really nice so then charlie got me like a big box of 100 tea bags and it only ran out like last month i think um so next we have this set which is for me it's just a soap and glory set um and this scent is the christmas one called naughty but spice i only wanted the small set because i wasn't sure whether i was gonna like the scent or not i just wanted to try it and then there's also a, another set so this one will be either for like my mom or i think this one would be for my niece because it is smaller um so yeah this one will probably be for my niece but these things are from charlie and i was supposed to deliver it to his house because i selected the items i was supposed to deliver it to his house but i delivered delivered it to mine by accident um so here's another thing um and this is what i wanted um it's just this ted baker lip products because i've never tried any ted baker lip products and you guys know i'm obsessed with ted baker um and then next i have this set this is the one that's on my sister it's the bayless and Hardin um set so this is what it looks like it's really pretty it's a christmas tree shape and lastly this item is for me because i really needed a new foundation well i would try this l'oreal tree match one because i wanted to try one of these foundations for a very 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 long time is it shimmery i'm looking at it now and it kind of looks shimmery like i didn't realize it had like shimmery i ordered it online i'm not entirely sure if this shade is even going to be correct for me but i ordered nut brown 
so this is the shade it does look quite light let me like compare it to one of my other foundations yeah i think this one is quite light i should have got maybe a slightly darker color i don't know it might be okay because this is my uh maybelline dream satin liquid and if i compare the colors they are sort of similar but i usually put powder on top anyway so if it is a little bit too light then that's fine because i can put powder over it so i'm just about to go out for the fifth time and then i've got four more parcels to do so i'm basically halfway through now i'm just about to head out again so i was supposed to order some substrate for the hamsters yesterday but i completely forgot so i'm probably going to try and do that at some point today and then hopefully i should get it for next week so i can decorate their cages for christmas i'm doing everything really really late this year it's just because i've been so busy with college um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you have then definitely check out my next festive vlog which will probably be a really exciting one because i'm going to be with lily and we're going to london and then i'm going to do a haul and stuff um so that's what is going to be in my next video so i decided to order from papa john's instead of domino's i haven't ordered from here in ages i think i ordered from here maybe once this year and then the last time i had something from here was maybe like 2016 um but i decided to order from papa john's instead of domino's because they had this thing going on with paypal where you could get 50 percent off any pizza over 10 pounds so i thought that was a really good deal this is what my pizza looks like it's just jello pino peppers sweet corn and here is the pizza cookie so if you guys haven't tried this already then you need to try it out because it tastes amazing yeah so i'm gonna end this video here and i'm gonna tuck into my pizza watch today's new video and i'll see you guys in my next festive vlog so bye for now